You gotta give the people what they want. Titty bouncing. What's cracking, guys? Oh, what you saw here? Back with another video. I'm mad. Why am I tiffed? Why am I slightly irritable? Why do I feel like someone did not heat up my porridge in the morning? Well, I've been receiving DMs. It seems like Tom Ellis of uh, Lucifer, the actor from Lucifer, who's a very fine actor, uh, made a video for Men's Health detailing his workout, how he got his physique. And I'm gonna throw up some photos of his physique and we're gonna briefly go over his routine, but why there is this chasm between credited, knowledgeable, let's say even fitness YouTubers, so Shredded by Science, uh, Jeff Nipper, Jeff Cavalier, doesn't really matter who you're talking about, and a lot of what you see in mainstream media, and I think it's partially because when there's a pure profit-driven approach where they want to market to as many people as possible, you kind of have to tell people what they want to hear, not what they should hear. In other words, if you want to develop that physique, guess what, that guy Tom Ellis probably has already pretty good genetics. The intensity that he's training at is not the intensity you would need to train at in order to get a good physique. In fact, it's kind of lackadaisical. And it reminds me actually where Joe Rogan, you know, I'm sure all you guys know Joe Rogan, he conducted better interviews of political candidates than either Fox News or CNN. It's just kind of the state of affairs where if you want to go for more information, you got to dig a little bit deeper. And so I saw his workout routine and people asked me the question, well, wait a second, man, this is like the holy word physique that people want to get. Is this all I need to do? I'm just going to do you know, some bench press, I'm going to do some pull-ups, I'm going to do some of these compound movements that you seem to advocate or other people, but maybe not as intense. Maybe I don't need to come as often. What do I need to do in order to get the body that I want? And the problem, once again, and intuitively, people that go to prison actually understand this, and this is one of my sub-theories about why so many people get jacked in prison other than the fact that likely you know, the testosterone is just soaring through the roof because the threat of death is imminent and you want to get jacked, is that intensity is key and I never see this being present. And I'm not trying to shit on men's health. I think there's a time and a place and I think there's some utility and I see people like Half Thor on there talking about strong man training. I see some people writing some good articles, right? So underneath some of the fluff, there is some good stuff, but that three easy ways to get your abs, and some of us YouTubers are guilty of this, where we make titles that encourage people to click on them, but then it's about the information that's underneath that, whether it holds up. And unfortunately, when I saw Tom Ellis, when I saw the workout routine, it's not his fault whatsoever. It's not even probably his trainer's fault, but what that guy needs to do in order to look the way that he looks, especially, and I'm not accusing him at all of steroids, but a lot of the Hollywood actors was like, damn man, I wanna look like that person. Well, there might be some steroids at play there, or don't discount the fact, and that's why I bring up men's health, Photoshop, where everyone's talking about uh, Gerard Butler, 300, his abs, where a lot of those were actually essentially just painted on in post. They actually did not have those abs. And so if you do their routines, or purportedly what they did, you won't look like them because already probably these actors have at least average to above average genetics. They have a lot of incentives to transform their body, but what you see, what they're presenting, what gets 2.4 million views is not what you're going to need to do in order to look great. And you could take lessons, in fact, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a very good example of this. Love Arnold, love a lot of his films. Shout out to Terminator 2 and James Cameron. But you'll see this pumping iron if you watch that documentary where he's training, he's grunting, and it's not theatrical. I mean, he's really training hard. All his people, Ed Corney, who is one of my favorite bodybuilders, they're training really hard. So these bodybuilders training really hard to look really good. Makes sense, right? And then when he was on Johnny Carson, in the 80s and he's talking about fitness, he was kind of giving a watered down approach because Arnold intuitively knew in order to sell this shit, in order to make it more appealing, you have to tell people what they want to hear. Oh man, you just need to work out, I think he said 20 minutes every single day and you'll get in great shape. You're not gonna look like Arnold, you're not even gonna look close to Arnold, but you'll look better probably than being an overweight individual. And I think when you have people that look really good telling you to do this routine to look a certain way and they're missing that intensity and other variables, supplements and so forth, that's when it gets a little disingenuous and that's when I get a little bit concerned. And so Tom Ellis, it's not an issue of what he's saying, it's the intensity that I see, the idea that the plan progression, I don't see that being present. Likely there is some Photoshop or optimal angles to make him look really good. So in reality, if you were to see him, he would look like a, a tall, 
leaner, thinner individual. He wouldn't be jacked, but they capture to make him look bigger than he is. So for those that are young, impressionable, those that want the quick results, and let's face it, our society is kind of predicated upon that, it's alluring. And that's why you always got to keep real. That's why I like the content that we put out, that I see a lot of other YouTubers, that's why I say YouTubers, or guys like, you know, if, if you care about getting strong, and that's why I brought up Arnold, you'll notice the commonality, and that's where proof of concept is really important. Shout out to guys like Alan Thrall, uh, Silent Mike, where they show the training they're doing. They're not saying if you do exactly this, you'll look exactly like me, but they show the process of getting stronger. I mean, when I was squatting and I did the 405 for 12 reps and seven was filming, it wasn't pretty. I actually looked like I was almost gonna shit myself after rep eight for every single rep. But that's kind of what you need to do, the minimum intensity threshold in order to build up a solid physique, a solid strength base, in order to get the body that you want. There has to be some sort of sacrifice, right? Uh, and I just don't see that being present. So I'm not shitting on it. It's just my perspective from me being in, in the industry for a while, things that need to change. I like what's going on here. If you like this content, if you're like, oh, that's pretty cool, Make sure to like the damn video. I'm gonna get out of here. I didn't want to turn it into a rant. It's more like the state of affairs and what needs to be done. And that's why I brought up, there's actually someone that I want to bring in to talk about prison training that I think would be really cool because I said that offhand, but I meant it. There is a reason why individuals in prison, I don't think it's you know anabolic enhancements, why they get better results probably than the average population. Intensity. Anyways, I gotta get out of here. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, like the damn video, and I'll see all you guys, my Bollywood physique experts, in that next video. Peace. Eat your vegetables, eat your vegetables, eat your fucking vegetables.